Hello, my name's Jeremy Heim. I work at the University of Leeds. One of the things that I look at in my research is what it is that young people should learn and how they learn. A particular interest to me is vocational learning. Now, I've had the good opportunity and the good fortune to go right across the world and look in China and Japan, Austria, Germany, and more recently Canada at what young people are learning in terms of vocational education. Canada is a really interesting uh, place to look at. They have community colleges there, which basically means they're like our further education colleges in England, but they don't start until they're 18 years old. What that means is the full range of uh, young people in Canada is in a high school. They have high progression rates, and basically maybe 80 or 90 percent of an entire cohort will be in a secondary school or a high school. This means that they have to look through, think about and work out suitable pathways for success for their young people. And one of the most important ones of these is progression to work and further training. I looked at one school board, uh, spent four months there in fact, September through to December in 2009. And that was really interesting. I took five case studies, two in the construction area. One of them, they were looking at renovating houses for householders. Another, they were building entire new houses for sale, working on building sites. I think they were on their 80th house when I was there. Beyond that, there were car maintenance programs, students running an entire community radio station, and another program, mill writing, welding, etc. The key thing about these programs was the strong sense of community engagement and involvement. They didn't call these programs vocational, and they didn't call their employers employers. They just talked about community partners, and that was the real essence of the programs. The schools were engaging directly with the communities around them and with the employers and the partners in those communities. And the link, the interesting fact, was the teachers. The teachers' professional or vocational background gave them not only the credibility and the know-how and the skills to teach the programs, but it meant they had huge levels of credibility with local employers. In a sense, they formed part of that same community and this gave a huge amount of access to um, employer facilitated placements, materials, resources and indeed in case of two or three of the programmes actually working on the employer's pre um, premises in collaboration with the employers. So I guess an interesting thing there is what does this mean for the training of teachers, the recruitment of teachers and providing appropriate progression routes for teachers with vocational backgrounds and valuing their skills and bringing them into the teaching profession.